everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is a back to school haul. Today's back to school haul video is Lakeshore Learning. I am so excited. They have some of the best hands on educational materials for kids. But before we get started in the haul, if you haven't watched the Homeschool Plan a Year with Me video yet, I highly suggest you watch that first because in that video, I go over how I plan our homeschool year and it kind of explains why I've purchased the majority of the things that I've purchased for our fifth grade year because it explains how I pick our subjects and our concepts and our skills that we're going to be trying to master. And then what I do is I purchase the majority of those things in hands-on fun ways and that's kind of how we homeschool. So if you haven't seen that yet, you might want to start there. But now let's just go ahead and jump right into all the goodies. So the first thing that I grabbed was a game. And the game that I grabbed is Smath. I don't even know how we didn't already own this. But it is basically Scrabble, but with math numbers. So you have like the two times and the three times points. And you make different operations and different math problems. And that's how you win. It's two to four players. And it just looked like it would be a lot of fun. So we're super excited for that one. The next thing I grabbed was the fiction and nonfiction reading comprehension using their power pen. Now we already have power pens um, and then I just buy a new one of these to go with each grade level. I like that it has her reading different types of things and it practices comprehension in a fun way. So I try to buy that every school year. Um, and then the next thing that I did was go looking for figurative language type of things like activities because I figured that Lakeshore Learning would have some fun hands-on ways to do figurative language and that was one of the things that was at the top of my list for us to focus on this year. And I did find a figurative language and I was super excited. It's their Can Do. And so these cans have different game cards and point tokens and answer cards and the spinner is actually on the top of the can. So everything you need is in this small little can right here. Um, and it was figurative language. So it has similes and metaphors, idioms, proverbs, and adjectives. I mean, it says for grades three to four, which I didn't really care what grade it said. I just wanted to work on this with Emily. But then after I got this one, which was on my skills for this year, I fell down a rabbit hole of these can do's and I ended up with the prefixes and suffix suffixes one as well as the parts of speech one and the reading literature one and the vocabulary one and the conventions and the informational text and the last candy reading game the writing skills ones so basically i ended up buying all of them um it just seemed like a really great way to work on different things um, I've had their quickies or the things I've bought in previous years. I actually bought those last year and they're amazing. They're in just like the simple box and you can just pull them out and play. But I love that this was more game based. So it's got the spinner and you're answering questions and you're earning tokens. So it's very game. It's very gamified, which Emily will love. And we can practice and review tons of different reading and writing skills with these. Now, the only downside to these is I have no clue where I'm storing them yet and they're a little bit odd shaped, but that's okay because I'm very, very excited about being able to use them in our homeschool. In addition to that, for our language arts, I also picked up this fifth grade daily language practice journal. Um, I'm probably going to put this in the car for car schooling or traveling on the go. We will not do it the way it's intended where it's like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, every week. But I do like that it is split into little bite-sized pieces. Um, I will ask her to do none of this. She'll do it at her will, however she feels like she wants to do it. And I just like that it was, like I said, bite-sized. Um, and it's like small. Like it has vocabulary, grammar, convention, reading literature, writing. And it pretty much goes through that same thing every week, except your reading is sometimes nonfiction, sometimes informal, informational. Um, it just kind of depends on what that week is. But I like that I had a little bit of everything. The only thing um, that might be a downside for some people, and it is perforated so you could take it out, 
is that the answer key is in the back. So if you were going to give this to your kid, you might want to take those pages out. Emily is not one of those kids, at least not yet, so I don't have to worry about it. So like I said, I'm just going to stick this probably in her car organizer in the car and then let her do it as she wants to, um, kind of like she does with Mad Libs, and we'll just call that extra bonus practice if and when she does it. It's kind of like review. Okay, so after I fell down the can-do type of rabbit trail, I also fell down what they call these math and a flash discovery cans. Again, I have no clue where I'm going to store these, but I loved the topics of these. So this one is fractions level one. Um, it includes the bar pieces for the fractions, the reference cards, number lines, decimal cards, transparencies. Like there's so much, like everything that you see on the front of this can is included inside this can. So it's literally like a lesson. Like you pull it out, it's got everything you need, including manipulatives. And I was very, very excited about that. So this is fractions level one. There is also a fractions level two. Let's see if I can find that one. Here we go. That is fractions level two. And then I have decimals. And again, all of this is included inside the can. So it has all those little dice inside the can. Um, we have multiplication and division. That will mostly be review for us, but I still thought it would be fun to have on hand. Measurement conversion. Now measurements, metric, volume, perimeter area, all of that was on my skills list that I wanted to do this year. So here's volume. So these were all going with things I wanted us to work on anyway. We have place value. That one will more than likely be mostly review, but I ended up just getting all of them. Um, and then we have angles and symmetry. So pretty much with these cans, that should cover all of our language arts and math things that I wanted us to cover this year for the most part. So they made total sense for us to purchase them. Now if we can just find a place for them. But that was it. That was everything that I purchased from Lakeshore Learning for our fifth grade year. Now I have done a Lakeshore Learning video in the past. So if you'd like to see maybe what we got for our fourth or our third grade year or younger years, make sure you check that out in our homeschool hall playlist.